Hello everyone, Black Ice here, and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke Challenge. Last time we left off, we were in Mount Moon somewhere, and today we are going to continue on to Mount Moon somewhere. Um, I don't remember if that's the right way to go or not. So just in case, I'm going to clear out this floor first before I go exploring. Did you come to explore the cave too? Um, yeah, I guess technically I did. Gotta find those Reggie items. Also gotta train up the team a little bit. I haven't done anything off camera since, you know, there's, it's, it's kind of hard to progress and level these guys up in when you're limited to a cave like this as well as not really being able to battle the trainers for the sake of the series. But um, anyway, let's get these guys taken care of. War Turtle should do a pretty good job of this. Alright, and he's got that guy. Let's switch out real quick and see... Um, whoops, I hit B. Never mind. I was gonna see if Snowball could handle this guy. They're the same level, and Snowball's definitely got an advantage just because he's a rock type, but... Oh well. I can easily just one-shot him, I guess. That works too. Let's see what else we have. A Zubat. You know, I think I'll try Snowball again. I think he would do pretty okay against this guy. Let's hope so, anyway. Alright, Snowball. Getting your first taste of action in a while. Well, technically, I guess. Okay, he has Astonish, so maybe... Oh, it only did two damage, though. I got this. This should only do one damage, actually. Oh, no. That's odd. Okay, I thought for sure since Leech Life was a bug attack, it wouldn't do as much damage against a Rock-type Pokemon. Uh, but no, it does neutral damage, which is interesting. Okay, and he keeps flinching me. Come on. Quit getting flinched by a freaking Zubat. There we go. One more. Come on, don't flinch me. Ah, uh, one more. Alright, there we go, we got him. Alright, Snowball leveled up, pretty good. Ooh, and he learned Rock, though, that's very good. But Snowball is not going to get um, any, more, any more action in this one, unless maybe I heal him up if I need him. But other than that, he's he's done his work. Actually, Snowball's a sheep, but I, I just... I don't know. Out of habit, just call him all he. Um... No, we're running. We already got a, a Geodude here, so... Okay. Oh, no, oh, this guy is a trainer. Whoa, you shocked me. Oh, you're only just a kid. Yeah, I guess I'm just a kid, but I mean, you're just an old hiker guy. With a really weird mustache. Okay, um... Perfect matchup. I'll take this. Um, water gun. Dang, jerk. Alright, um... I think there's an item above this, this guy, and... I'm not sure if that ladder there is the right way to go through this place, or if the other one is. I think this one that I'm closest to right now is the right way to go, so I'm gonna go in the other one after I get the item that's up in the corner. Okay, Super Soaker levels up, very good. Ooh, and an Onyx. Yeah, I'll take that. And can we one-shot it? Probably. But you never know. Yep, it's gone. Perfect. Okay, so we could probably switch to mate. Well, there's just too much Rock-type Pokemon. I think we should keep Super Soaker out, because if I switch to Flappy or Swiss, they would both, like, die to Rock-type Pokemon. Maybe not literally, but... Or maybe literally, I don't know. Okay, and... Another wild Pokemon. I wish I had Repels, I really do. Should've bought some, but... Whatever, it's all good. And let's go on down, and hopefully not encounter anything else. Oh, dang it. And the reason why I'm not running is because when you run, you're more likely to encounter wild Pokemon, which a lot of you probably know, but... Otherwise, I I would just run and not waste my time walking. Okay, so... It's this place. Go in here. Okay, there's an item up there and a rocket guy down there. Ooh, TM46 Thief. Too bad it's a special attack. Oh, dang it. Whatever. 
we're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. And your name is... Team Rocket Grunt. What an incredible name. He doesn't even have... Like, they're just Grunt. They don't have a name. Alright, anyway. Uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna start saving my water guns now. It doesn't one-shot them, and... I need it for rock types, so... Well, let's just tackle. That should be decent enough for now. Alright, and he's gonna send out Ekans, so I will switch, actually, to Flappy. Just to get him a few levels. Okay, actually, he might... Well, he'll probably level up during this. That's kind of annoying, but whatever. Um, let's use Gust, because it's probably the most powerful attack Flappy has right now. Decent damage, and I do not want to get poisoned by this. Please finish it off, I don't want to get poisoned. Dang it. Okay, good, just use Rap like an idiot. Now I can just use Quick Attack and win the battle. There we go, and Flappy, I don't know what level Flappy evolves at, but it's probably not level 17. But who knows, could be. So, you are good. Thank you. You are not. Sorry. Okay, let's get out of here. So, as I thought, that was not the right way to go, but I do want to explore this whole place. Battle at least all the trainers here. And actually, let's, let's take a look at how many... Okay, we could definitely heal people up. Flappy could use some heals. I don't... I mean, it's kind of cool how, like, when you use a potion on something, here, I'll just let it actually play out this time. It does this little animation, but it's kind of annoying sometimes. Like, you just want to get healed, you know? And I think I accidentally ran there. I'm not sure. Maybe not. But anyway, it's a Geodude that we're just going to run from. Goodbye, Geodude. And we need to get into this ladder. And I believe... Okay, no, we're still in Mount Moon. I was going to say, maybe this is technically another section, but it's not. Plus, the Paris wouldn't be good anyway. So we're just going to run from it, because it's probably not worth the time. Really, come on. Come on, game. One step. One step? I wasn't even running. Okay, let, let's get out of here. And, nope. So close, but didn't make it. And it's always Paris. Paris are useless. Get out of here. Paris are weird. They're actually like zombies. Controlled by mushrooms or something. It's really strange. They have a weird Pokedex entry, but... Any of you are probably aware of that. What's up here? Okay. Item. Is it good? Revive. No, it is not. Completely useless. Well, I could sell it for money, I guess. Maybe it's not completely useless. I'll just consider it I found money on the ground. Let's just say that. Alright. Don't need you, Super Soap. You're fine. And these Rocket Grunts typically don't have um, Rock type Pokemon, actually, so. Let's, let's take Swiss out, put him there. And then Beedrill will get a few levels as well. Oh, come on. This game does not like me. Really does not. We haven't died yet. Well, no one has died yet, but it's just being extremely annoying. A little kid shouldn't be messing around with grown-ups. It could be bad news. Yeah, it usually is. Kids these days and their rap music. <laughs> anyway, um, oh, honor battle, that'll work, um, except we'll win because we have hyper fang, come on, really? Ooh, Taylor, this could be dangerous, but Swiss has got this, come on, Swiss, hyper fang. Quit being a big dummy, okay, there we go, crit, very nice. Alright, Sandshrew will also get hyper fanged and will hopefully be hurt by it quite a bit. If we could one shot it, that would be awesome. No, two shot. And that scratch. Whoa! Okay, I could take one more scratch, but that's kind of scary. Alright, Swiss, that's. That was kind of scary. We're gonna. I'm gonna keep Swiss out just in case, but. I don't think anything could one shot Swiss unless it was like a fighting type. So, that's why I'm, I'm feeling comfortable keeping Swiss as the lead for now, just to 
get in some levels. Because these guys don't have any fighting types, I mean, they're fine. Probably the least threatening... Anyway, probably the least threatening trainers in the game are here. Besides, you know, the bug catchers. But I really wish the wild Pokemon weren't so bad. This is why Mount Moon is notorious for being one of the most annoying places in the entire game. Because every, like, like every other step, wild Pokemon, wild Pokemon, wild Pokemon. Man, there, there should be, like, an achievement in this game for getting through Mount Moon without using any repels. I mean, you deserve to get rewarded for that, I think. It's awful. Maybe not rewarded, but at least compensated for your time spent running from all the wild friggin' Pokemon. Okay. Oh, no. Come on. Really? Really? Alright. Run away. Get out of here. Battle you, because you're probably not threatening at all. We, Team Rocket, shall find the fossils. Reviving Pokemon from them will earn us huge riches. You know what? I wish that was true, because in X and Y I have tons of fossils, and no one wants to buy them from me. Actually, I guess I could, but I mean, reviving the Pokemon wouldn't give me any money. One shot? Yeah, there you go. Awesome. And we can probably one-shot the Zubat, actually. I mean, it's got low defenses. Let's try it. Yes! Swiss, you're a beast! The Team Sweeper or something. Ugh. Or erg. Now I'm mad. Okay, goodbye, mad guy. I don't even really have any insults to call him. Um, Reggie item. Well, there would be one if I didn't... Pokemon, okay. Come on, let's go. Let's get out of here. Alright, give me the Reggie item. Ha! Found your crap, Reggie. Alright, and ooh. Hey, stop! I found these fossils. They're both mine. Stupid, greedy scientist. You had to try to take them both for yourself. You couldn't just share. Ooh, Grimer, that's interesting. Alright, please one-shot it. I know Grimer's pretty tanky. Yeah. Ooh! Oh, that could've been bad. Let's just keep hyperfanging all the things. Alright, maybe if Swiss levels up, we can send out Beedrill if he doesn't have any poison types anymore. Um, coughing. No, we're gonna st stick with Swiss for now. I mean, coughing's pretty tanky as well, so he's kind of a threat. So we'll just do that. And, okay, good, you missed. Let's try it one more time. And coughing is gone. Swiss is a beast. I can't believe I doubted this thing. When I teach Super Fang, it's going to get even more overpowered. Oh, Voltorb, oh, dang it. Well, he's probably doesn't have any Electric-type attacks, but uh, he's probably going to die after this, too. Oh, no, he didn't. He lived. Wow, I'm getting really lucky with their misses. He hasn't landed a single attack. I guess he forgot to push up his glasses on the bridge of his nose. Okay. okay, I'll share. Yeah, that's right. Ooh. All glory to the Helix Fossil! Absolutely. How could I not after recent events? If you don't know what that's a reference to, go to, like, uh, twitch.tv slash, uh, Twitch Plays Pokemon. There's like thousands of people playing, like, either red or blue, I'm not sure which version it is exactly. But there's thousands of people playing it at the same time, and the way that works is you, like, you type in something for the character to do, like, left, right, up, down, A, B, start, select. You type that in the chat, and it'll actually, like, make that happen in the game. Gotta go to the Pokemon. I want Drill to lead for now. Hopefully that won't be regretted, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, yeah, Twitch plays Pokemon, pretty cool. And thank goodness we're out of Mount Moon, and we're onto a new route, which means I can catch a new Pokemon, which means I want to switch to Snowball. Captain Falcon's too weak, Snowball is just right for that. Okay, these guys aren't trainers, they're just, uh, they have Mega Punch and Mega Kick. Um, Mega Punch is the ultimate attack. Uh, sure. 
Uh, yeah, that's okay. I mean, I'm never coming back to you guys ever again. Alright, I kind of want to teach it to snowball. We'll see, actually. Is it a fighting type move? I don't think it is. No, it's normal. Let's see, 80 power, 85 accuracy. That's pretty bad. Yeah, well... No, I want to stop her. No, yes, okay, there we go. I mean, it would be good for Swiss because he gets normal type stab, but obviously he can't learn it. Maybe he can learn Mega Kick, though. I mean, it would be weird, but you never know. I know this is also a normal type attack, and he cannot. Only Super Soaker can, and I highly doubt I would waste my time on this. I just want to see the power and accuracy of it. 120 power, 75 accuracy, no thanks. No. No, yes. Get me out of here. I hate these guys. With their stupid circular dialogue that keeps you stuck talking to them forever. Alright, what's down here? It doesn't look like anything important is down there. What's up here, though? Oh, got an item. TMO5 Roar. Yeah, no thanks. It's not very good. Okay, can't get up to that person. And, okay, I'm just gonna go in the grass so I can catch my Pokemon for this route. Hopefully it'll be a good one, we'll see. I forget what's in the grass here. I already have one of these guys, so they don't count. I can just run. Oh, apparently I can't run. Really? I have to sit here and just wait for him to do one damage a turn for me? That's kind of seems a little ridiculous. I mean, I know the speed advantage was clearly in its favor, but still. Alright, we already have a Captain Falcon, so we can run from you, although it'll probably not let me escape. Yeah, there we go. That's something I also don't like. It should just be level difference, not necessarily speed difference, because... I mean, you could have, like, the slowest Pokémon in the world be outspeeded by, like, a level 10 Pokémon, and... You know, there's just no, there's no point. Why, why we should the level 50... I mean, obviously this probably wouldn't be the case, but I guess it might be able to happen with EV training and all that, but anyway, just, I guess it's not really important. I just really want to find something here. I don't think I can, actually. I think it's all the same. Alright, well, yeah, I'm just going to run from this. I'm not, I'm not going to use my catch for Route 6, so um, I'll... I'll try to remember that, but um, if you guys know what can be found on Route 6, actually, I'm not going to be able to get back here, am I? Oh no, I can. Yeah, it's okay. okay. So let's just run. Cerulean City, where's your Pokemon Center? There it is. And you can't do the gym just yet because something happened, or maybe you can, I don't remember. But either way, I don't want to challenge it quite yet because I need to level up my Pokemon. I'm going to go to Nugget Bridge and battle there, go around, go to Bill's house, and, you know, all that fun stuff. But let's see, let's switch back to Beedrill. We'll see if we can beat Nugget Bridge in this episode. Let's hope so. And then off camera, I'll level up um, Captain Falcon and um, Snowball a little bit. Yeah, there we are. Uh, Team Rocket, Police Force is terrible. Okay, goodbye. Oh no, I forgot about this. Rival battle, here we go. And he leads with a, a Pidgeotto, I think. This is scary. This is bad news for... Yeah, okay. Definitely switching him to Snowball. That could be very risky, though. The Snowball's a low level. He's got a clear type advantage, though. High defenses. And he's got Rock Throw, so I'm a little bit confident in this, but this could be bad. Okay, Sand Attack, not so bad right now. So bad. Okay, this is why I'm scared. Yeah, Gust, okay, that wasn't too terrible. And we can hit him with Rock Throw. And Quick Attack's gonna... Ooh, even that did a decent amount of damage. Oh, and that Sand Attack, man. Gust, that's gonna hurt a little bit. Yeah, we're just gonna have to have Snowball destroy this guy. See, hopefully he won't use a potion. I don't think he will. No, he won't. Perfect. Please land. There we go. Awesome. Land of the attack. Snowball's gonna get some major levels. 
Uh, Beedrill's gonna level up at least once. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't think I was ready for this, actually. Bulbasaur. Um, yes, I will change Pokemon. And I will go to... Hmm, actually. Can I check? No, I don't think I can. Okay, I can. Okay, I'm gonna check Summary. Do we have any Bug-type moves? No. Okay, so not Beedrill. I'm gonna go to Swiss for now. Just because Swiss is probably the most powerful thing on my team. And obviously Wartortle, you don't want to send that out against the Grass-type. But anyway, Hyper Fang is hopefully what we're gonna be banking on here to do massive damage. And it does. Sleep Powder, though. Alright, let's hang in here and see what he's got. I think Swiss can take at least a few attacks while it tries to wake up. Actually, do I have an Awakening? I might. Oh my god, okay, yeah, we're switching out. Um, if he uses Vine Whip on Beedrill, it's gonna do a very small amount of damage. Actually, what am I thinking? We're sending out Flappy for this. I should have done this in the first place, I forgot about you, Flappy. Vine Whip's not gonna hurt, and one Gust should pretty much take it out. Almost. I could probably... Oh, oh that could that would have been really bad. Alright, let's get it with the quick attack. Man, I can't believe I forgot about this rival battle. I think he normally challenges you like after you beat the gym. Abra. Um, let's see, what do we have that could take out an Abra potentially? Um, I'm gonna keep Flappy in just for now. But I might switch into uh, Super Soaker. Um, ooh, Abra. Okay, it only knows teleport, so we're okay. We're okay on this, actually. Eh, never mind. I was gonna say, for like EV's sake, I should probably just give this battle to Super Soaker. Eh, I guess it really doesn't matter too much in this. I'm not. I'm not really EV training. It was probably only one special attack EV that was. Um, and I will keep Flappy in for this as well. Just because I don't think I need to change, but if he has Hyper Fang, I'm a little bit scared. And I should be able to take him out with this last Gust. So let's try it. Quick attack. Ooh, that's actually not a bad idea. If your faster tail would take the hit and, like, quick attack or something. Actually, I'm gonna use quick attack now, so suck it, guy. Okay, another rival battle survived. Very good team. Very good team. Hey, take it easy, you won already. Yep, yeah, sorry, all your Pokemon bed. Oh, what? Flappy's evolving! Congratulations, your Flappy evolved into Pidgeotto. He's not gonna learn any attacks. Hey, guess what? I went to Bill's and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokédex. After all, Bill's world famous as Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system on PC, too. Since you're using his system, you should go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. squat -a -la. We're off. Okay, goodbye, Guanum. Oh, wait, he's giving me something. That's that's right. Uh, you give me the an item finder? Fame checker. What does that do? Chad gossip like you, that thing's perfect. I don't need it because I don't give a hoot about others. Well, neither do I. <laughs> Alright, this time I really am gone. Smell ya. Okay, whatever. I don't need that fame checker. Thanks for the useless item. I thought he was going to give me the item finder, which is actually equally useless because Reggie isn't very good at hiding his items anymore. Actually, I don't think he ever really was good at hiding his items. Sorry, Reggie. Alright, but anyway, that is going to do it for me for today. Um, off camera, I will train up the guys. I'll, I'll probably train up everyone just a bit, um, depending on how bad the grinding is. And, um, yeah. Uh, then we'll go take on Nugget Bridge, go to Bill's house, and do the gym, hopefully all in the same episode. But so far, so good. No deaths. Anyway, that's going to do it for me for today, so thank you all so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye everyone. Have a great day.